Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and it's time for our yearly edition of Should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Add Running Back Dalvin Cook? The Jets have waived running back Dalvin Cook with one game remaining on the year. Such a New York Jets thing, in my opinion. They couldn't have waived the guy earlier in the year, but... It is not the case. The Jets have moved on from Dalvin Cook, a mutual agreeing of parting ways. And Dalvin Cook's time with the Jets is done. Now, this is an interesting situation, because, in my opinion, because I feel like Dalvin Cook definitely believes he has a lot left in the tank this year. You take a look at the overall stats. He hasn't had a lot of work. 67 attempts for 214 yards, which was good for, uh, you know, a not good 3.2 yards per carry. It's safe to say that this year has been an extreme disappointment for Dalvin Cook. The man went from four straight 1,000-yard seasons, four straight Pro Bowls, to a 214 yard season with 3.2 yards per carry it definitely hasn't gone the way Dalvin Cook thought it was going to go definitely didn't go the way the New York Jets thought it was going to go and now Cook finds himself as a free agent and I'm going to say this if I'm Dalvin Cook if I'm Dalvin Cook's agent I'm going to want to try and get with the team that is going to the playoffs right that would be my overall goal is to probably make a little bit of money for myself going into the playoffs probably make you know, a little bit of an impact for myself. See what I could do, right? I know, and you don't have a lot of time to do it, but you look at all the teams that are going to the playoffs, at least in the AFC, Ravens, Dolphins, Chiefs, Jaguars, Browns, Bills, maybe the Colts, maybe the Texans, maybe the Steelers. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, all these teams are eliminated, so we don't got to worry about them. In the NFC side of things, you got the 49ers, you got the Cowboys, you got the Lions, you got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You have the Philadelphia Eagles, you have the Los Angeles Rams, you have a few other teams in that mix as well. So, if I'm Dalvin Cook, if I'm Dalvin Cook's agent, I may say, well, there's only one week left of the regular season, but maybe I could make an impact on a playoff team in short notice. And maybe I could still show that I can play some ball and make myself a little bit of money in this offseason because that's that's really the only thing Dalvin Cook has left to do. So Dalvin Cook's agent, I'm assuming, and this is just my opinion, I don't have any sources on this or anything, but I assume that Dalvin Cook and his agent are probably going to be reaching out to all of these playoff teams to say, hey, could you use a backup running back? Could you use a guy? For your potential playoff run, or maybe week 18, you're going to be benching some of your starters. Maybe this is a guy who could come in and give you some snaps if you need him to. Would one of those teams be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I'm going to say, obviously, in terms of, of week 18, the answer is probably not. Um, I imagine the Bucks might be interested because we've seen reported interest between Cook and the Bucks in the past. The Bucks almost took him in the 2017 NFL draft. And then even after that, whenever he left the Minnesota Vikings, there was some rumblings that the Bucks may have been interested and there may have been some mutual interest there. Of course, Dalvin Cook went to Florida State, so I know a lot of Bucks fans would love to see Dalvin Cook in a Buccaneers uniform. But in terms of Using him in week 18, something along those lines, doesn't necessarily seem like a case. However, if you were to add him now, give him maybe a week and a half to learn the playbook, maybe in a wild card round matchup, is that something you could see? I don't know. It's something to consider. Maybe we see, and by the way, if Dalvin Cook were to join another team here, I imagine it would have to be pretty quick in the next couple of days or so. Just because of the timing of everything, you know, week 18 is literally just a couple of days away, and then you have the playoffs literally right after that. So if Dalvin Cook does want to play for the remainder of this season or playoffs, you imagine something is going to have to happen pretty quickly. And just based off of what I'm assuming the agent would do, maybe he'd reach out to some of those teams. Maybe one of those teams would be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I have loved what... Chase Edmonds and Rashad White have been doing in recent weeks for the Bucs, but the one thing I think the Bucs have been missing has been a, a bit of a power back, a bit of a guy that you know can scrap, especially on the goal line, and get the job done. Could Dalvin Cook maybe be that guy? 5'10", 210. I know he's very similar build to a guy like Rashad White, but I've seen power in, in Dalvin Cook's running before. I've seen ability in, you know, definitely in Dalvin Cook's running before. Again, he had freaking 13 and 16 touchdowns in 2019 and 2020. So this is a dude that could definitely score when you get the football in his hands. Of course, he's had a down year this year, but if you use him in a limited capacity, maybe it's something to consider if you're the Buccaneers. Because besides Rashad White and Chase Edmonds, 
kind of non-existent at running back. You haven't been playing Sean Tucker. You waived Keyshawn Vaughn. If you want to bring him in on the practice squad, if you want to bring him in just to have him learn the playbook, if if you're assuming the Bucks are winning in Week 18 and you may just want to add a little wrinkle into the offense, a little surprise in there for a wild card matchup just to spice some things up, and hey, maybe see what happens after that in the offseason, maybe you do bring in a guy like Dalvin Cook. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. But it wouldn't surprise me if Dalvin Cook and his agent are reaching out to all these playoff teams or playoff hopeful teams saying, hey, my guy could be of service. Dalvin Cook could be of service. It wouldn't also surprise me if, if one of those teams that is reached out to is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, I don't have sources on this. I am assuming. And I don't think it would be a crazy move for the Bucs to make, considering, you know, Dalvin Cook would probably come relatively cheap, again, with like half of a week left in the regular season. But it would be interesting to see maybe if the Bucs win in week 18, you know, you bring him in in the next day or two, you have him learn a little bit of the playbook, and then maybe he's on your roster for a playoff run, a la Le'Veon Bell a couple of seasons ago. Maybe you have a, a similar scenario, though. Even Le'Veon Bell signed with, like, a couple weeks left in the year. The timing's terrible. I don't know why the Jets... Yo, the Jets screwed Dalvin Cook. They screwed Dalvin Cook. I just want to say that, but... Uh, you know, if you're pressed for time, if if you're if you're in this type of situation, this is that's that's kind of the situation I I am guessing is being presented to teams. So we'll see. I don't know, man. Would be interesting. Do you guys want to see Dalvin Cook on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'd love to hear them down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.